All right, everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video. We are checking out K Star Patrol for the Commodore Vic 20. Um, at first glance, this kind of looks, to me, it looks like a Defender type of game, but it doesn't play like Defender. You don't kind of move around the screen or anything, but you do defend your ships. You're the ship that goes up and down right there on the left, and you're defending all the, the ships that are in a row right there behind you from these attacking aliens and stuff like that. So uh, we'll kind of jump into that and see what that's about and try to get a decent high score on that. Uh, I'm using a Commodore VIC-20, the actual system with the cartridge. Um, using my trusty Atari 7800 modified uh, custom-made joystick from the Space Invaders. I had a Radica Space Invaders joystick plug-and-play that uh, was modified into the 7800. So we're going to check that out. Let's go ahead and start this up. Hit F1 to get back to the menu. So there we go. Then you hit the trigger button. Hit the button right there. One player. Let's just go ahead and do that. A little side note if you're playing on the VIC-20 or uh, however you're playing it, uh, the um, space bar will uh, pause the game. So if you get to a little bit too, it gets a little bit too intense or if you need to, you know, do something real quick, you can hit the space bar pause your game then just hit the button on the controller to continue on blasting enemies so as you can see I'm kind of just uh, oh, just just lost a ship there I just pressed left and that kind of you see that little shield kind of protects saw that it just protected that ship from colliding into my ships Supposedly you press forward and you go a little bit faster, but I haven't noticed anything. Or well, maybe a little bit. A little bit faster. Ah. It's pretty. It's a relatively simple game, but it's one of those types where you just kind of you try to get a high score. So basically, right now I'm just holding down the button. Just trying to see how far I can get. I got about almost 4,000 points. Again, if uh, if you need your shields, you just hit the left on the controller. But I'm not sure how many shields you get. I don't know if you saw that. That was like a little... I don't know if that was a little asteroid belt or something. It says what it is in the manual. But basically, you can't kill that. It looks like a little uh, asteroid belt, but you can't kill it. You can only kind of push it away. So there we go. Ah! Ah! And it just latched onto me, draining my energy. There we go. see what we got here what's going on sector two cool I'm assuming up top there is your map and you just you go through different sectors oh boy we've got ground enemies now so ah I kind of don't know how to defend against them. I went to the bottom to try to shoot, but nothing happened. Might have something to do with your shields or something. Right, here we go. Ah, see, I, I get to the bottom and I can't shoot, or it won't register, so I don't know. Just gotta try to sneak by him, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> right, here we go. Ah, what was that? <clears throat> guess that was the game over screen. It didn't last too long. Let's try this one more time. All right, that was that was too quick. All right, let's try this one more time. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't even know what the high score I had. It just the screen, the game over screen went by so quick. I would like to revisit these games and really sit down and try to do like a high score run. Basically, I'm just kind of trying to show you what, what the game's about. shields now, so. This game was also on the Atari 8-bit computers. If I can find a copy of that, I'll definitely play that. Sector 2. Looks like there's a lot of sectors based on the map at the top. Looks like you got a lot of sectors to get through. Like about 10 or so. You can only imagine how much tougher it gets. But on the flip side of that, the less ships you have, the less you have to worry about defending. So. I don't like, though, that when you get close to the ground, you can't shoot. I, I guess that's the strategy of it, or maybe it's... I don't know if it's a glitch, or it's just... by design. Ah, well, there we go. I was pressing forward to try to go a little bit faster, but uh, I don't know. That game over screen just goes by too quick. I might be pre might have been pressing the button that just like popped off the game over screen. But there you go. K, K Star Patrol for the Commodore Vic 20. There's other versions. Like I said, there's the Atari I think 800 version for Atari computers, home computers, the 8-bit computers. Uh, but uh, check it out if you get a chance. It's a <clears throat> pretty simple game, but uh, it takes you you know. A while to master it and get good at it if uh, you know if you keep practicing at it but uh, take care that's another classic game from the uh, 80s <laughs> I'm assuming from the 80s library early 80s but uh, take care and I will see you again next time